Hi. Hi ho. In this flavor, in this scent, and flavor, I don't need it. I really need to get a life. Seriously, like. Mm. I made this like agreement with myself that I wouldn't spend anything, so I spent. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube. So this is gonna be my first haul. Uh, it's a little strange to say the least to be doing a haul on here. I personally love home bargains. I am obsessed with home bargains. I go there every week, um, even though I've been trying to save money for the month of January and February, but that's no one's business. One bag is for like cleaning products. The second bag is for booty and the third bag is for like food and drink. So let's have a look. So if you can't actually read what's on the products at the moment, it's because I'm using my iPhone and the camera is turned like on a selfie mode. I need to get a camera, don't hate me, I'm on my iPhone at the moment. So I bought this, I'm absolutely obsessed with this um, smell of fabric conditioner. It literally smells like uh, Alien, you know, Alien by Moogler or if, wherever, however you say it, if you ever smelled Alien perfume, which I absolutely love, I still love it to this day, then this is like that. I use it all the time in my washing. So what I like to use with the fabric conditioner are these. So I've managed to find the unstoppables in this scent. Now I'm I'm not sure whether the home bargains that I go to is the only shop <laughs> that doesn't do this scent, but I haven't, I haven't seen these yet. So I did grab them and I can't wait to use them. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with this smell. So if you haven't used them to unstop bulls, I mean, you need to, and then you need them in your life because they make your clothes smell, oh, unreal. So I know that a lot of people have been raving about the lavish vanilla scent in the in-wash booster. So basically this scent, the lavish vanilla scent in these, in this, in these, it's supposed to be amazing. So the next thing that I got were these. Uh, Fabulosa unicorn dust. Do I have to say any more? If you haven't tried these ones, they're insane. Honestly insane. So I know that the instructions tell you to just use a capful. Now, I don't use capful. <laughs> I literally put all of this in um, a big like spray bottle. So what I would do is I get a multi-purpose um, bottle. So I, I use multi-purpose bottle, empty that, and then put all of this in with um, water, hot water and fill it all the way. Now I know the instructions tell you not to do that and I wouldn't recommend you doing this, but this is what I like to do. And oh, everything just smells unreal. If you haven't tried the Unicorn Dust in Fabulosa, you need to try it. So the next thing I'm going to show you is something that um, is all a bit, bit new to me, um, but I, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it because I am so lazy when it comes to cleaning, but I can't stand seeing dust around the place. So it's the Dettol All-in-One Disinfectant Spray. And I'm not going to lie to you, the reason why I bought it was because it says you don't actually have to wipe the surfaces. The surfaces and I'm all about that. Okay, so the next thing I bought was this minky pad. So everyone has been raving about these minky pads for so long. I thought I was gonna get myself one. It's supposed to be um, like multi-purpose because the one side is a bit uh, rougher than the other side. So one to sort of get the grease and grime off and then the other one to sort of polish it off. It's supposed to be long lasting. That's what it, said on, it says on the back. So you can clean it and you can reuse it, but it was five pound. Oh. I mean, when I think about spending money on certain things, I always think about what I could spend it on, and that could technically be a new mascara, you know, but it's supposed to be good, so we will see. Then I picked up this Crackle candle, Crackle Wick candle. I had one um, last month, and honestly, I don't think it actually smelt of anything, but it made a crackling noise when you light them, and I just think that I like a bit of ambiance sometimes, you know, something to make me relax. So whilst... I wouldn't suggest this to get this if you want the smell. Honestly, the sounds that comes from this candle, I just love. Makes me, it reminds me of like a fire. I don't actually know if these are actual like wood or what they are. Next up, we have talc. I always use talc. I use talc when I go to the bath. Not all the time because I sometimes my skin is quite sensitive and I have to be quite careful on what I put on it. So the other thing I use this for, which um, I wouldn't recommend doing, but 
it works for me and I continue to do it to this day is I actually put this on my hair. The reason why I do that is because I find that dry shampoo makes my hair go greasy after an hour or two so it'll be dry and then you'll start to see the grease and I am not about the grease um, and I've also learned that you're not supposed to be washing your hair every day you need to wash it once once twice a week so when I tried to stop washing my hair every day I was finding that my hair was just constantly greasy and I couldn't get away from it um, even when I would use like dry shampoo it wouldn't work and I was like oh I'm just gonna have to go back to washing my hair every day I put this on my hair <laughs> To dry it out and i've never looked back i use this on my hair all the time just to get the grease out and yeah that's what i do i wouldn't recommend doing it i'm sure that a lot of people have things to say about that but that's what i like to do okay then i got some shavers these are the beck oh i love a bit of beck beck <laughs> shavers miss soleil got these i find that these are the best shavers for me um there's a few options in home bargains but these are the ones i usually tend to stick to I also got the Imperial Leather Moonlit Skies and White Cashmere Bath Soak. Sometimes I go for Redox and I got that in the bathroom now, um, but I thought I'd go for something a little bit different. I did use the Unicorn one of this, I think it was the Unicorn one, and it made my skin feel so nice. Um, so I picked this up for a change. Then I picked up this Pop Soft Powder Sponge with filled with soap. I thought that was quite cool, so I wanted to try that. Should I open it? It's open now. If you can see it, it's quite hard. So I'm assuming you just use it like a normal soap and then it'll turn into a sponge. But yeah, I thought that was quite cool and quite a good idea actually because my sponges seem to just they, they don't last. And yeah, I thought I'm I'm all about newness this year. I want to try something new and I think this had, this had potential, this has potential to be a, a new weekly favourite of mine. I also picked up the Simple Hydrating Face Mask. I found that Simple Face Mask are just insane. I just, I, I find that they work all the time, they're not too messy, they calm my skin and I usually stick to them every time I go to a home bargain, so try them. I also picked up some simple moisturising face wash. I don't usually buy this, but I've run out of face wash and the ones that I usually buy are on order, so they, I haven't got them yet. So yeah, I'm gonna get that. It's good for like sensitive skin as well. So if you have got sensitive skin, I would recommend getting this facial wash. So the next thing that I bought is something that I buy every single week is my go-to moisturiser. I've got combination skin and if I'm completely honest with you, I cannot afford expensive moisturiser for everyday wear. So I've just found that the Nivea Refreshing Day Cream, 24 hour cream, is just good for me. It says normal skin, it's got SPF um, 15, which is something I always make sure that's in my moisturizer. So that's what I use every single day. Sometimes I will use like more expensive moisturizers in the night or in the day, depending on what I have at the, at the time. Um, but that is my go-to. So if you are skint um, or you can't afford expensive moisturizers, then I would go for this one. I also picked up the Eyelure Texture Eyelashes. So I love these, they're only like £2.50. I've actually got them on at the moment. Um, I don't know if you can see. So what I've actually done is I've cut the eyelashes to three quarters. So I've cut the ends just in a little bit. Um, I found that three quarter eyelashes just make your eye look more natural. I only have like little eyes. I just find that you need to look for what is good for you and your eye shape when it comes to makeup. And I just find that these just open my face up and open open my eyes up so much. So the other thing I bought were um, these face cloths. So usually I have the Liz Oil Cleanse and Polish and I have the hot cloth. Um, but when the hot cloth is in the, wa in the washing machine, I need something that like replaces it. Um, so I just thought I'd get these hot cloths. I also got these T-zone pore strips um, for your nose. I usually put them on my chin, but <laughs> you shouldn't actually do that, but that's just what I do. Um, I use them now and again, not all the time because they can like damage your skin, um, but I like to just get the gunk out sometimes. I also bought the Nivea Soft Moisturising Cream um, for your body. I love Nivea. I mean, I always stick with Nivea 
as my go-to if I'm ever in doubt. My skin is just feeling so dry at the moment because of the change in weather. Um, you can't really go wrong with any sort of body cream. So yeah, I haven't actually tried these yet, but I'm quite excited about it. I used to have alopecia and if you don't know already, I've done a whole video on alopecia, alopecia my, my journey with alopecia, hair loss, hair thinning, and mainly ball patches. So hair care to me is like, needs to be like number one because I'm very protective over the, cake, the hair I have now. So I've actually picked up these um, Garnier Ultimate Blend Shampoo and Conditioner. I also picked up the Hair Food, which is like a treatment. So it's a hair mask, three in one hair mask. Now I don't actually know what it's like, um, but I am excited to try it. I I don't know, it was just something about the, the name of it, like hair food banana. It's almost like you're gonna give my hair some banana food. How, how can you not pick that up? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go. So be with me. I love Vaseline. I literally got like five to six pots in my drawer like all the time. I, I'm obsessed with Vaseline. I hate the feeling of being like in work and my lips are chapped. It goes through me and makes me cringe. So any vas anything Vaseline-y, any lip care, I'm all for it. So this is not exactly food. I probably should have shown you this when I showed you the uh, cracking candle. But I also got this candle. So I love Yankee candles, but to be honest, I can't afford Yankee candles amongst thing other things that are just as expensive. I went through the candles in Home Bargains and I just stuck my nostrils in each little pot because I needed to find out if I like this candle or not. So this is the pink rhubarb and pear. But I just found like I want to have a smell from the candle. I want to be able to smell it when I light it. Um I don't and I just find that sometimes with cheaper candles you can't actually get the smell out of them, which is why I usually buy the higher end ones. But in all fairness I've just found that this flit this scent is yeah. I'm all for it. And you could buy a couple of these. So Pink Rhubarb and Pear Scented Candle by Wickford & Co. Highly recommend you grab your hands on that. Next up, we have these Fiber One Cake Bars. They are so nice. If you haven't tried them, you need to try them. They're both um, like 90 calories. This one's 88 calories. This one is 90 calories. And they're just a good like go-to snack. I wanted to get the brownies um, in Home Bargains because if you get the brownies and you want to, you're on a diet, you can actually put it with like low calorie ice cream and what I do is I melt the brownies in the microwave for like 30 seconds to 40 seconds and then I put a little bit of ice cream on top. It's honestly like the best diet treat, treat you can get. So next up we've got the splendid syrups. So I absolutely love these syrups. I've got a hazelnut flavour and this is the flavour um, cinnamon. I usually put them in my coffee every morning. They didn't have any any vanilla flavours though, which I'm absolutely gutted about. I usually like to put a vanilla coffee pod in um, our coffee machine with a bit of vanilla syrup, but they didn't have any vanilla syrups. They just had like toffee, caramel, cinnamon and hazelnut, but they're so cheap for what they are and they're sugar free. So yeah, do yourself some of them. I am absolutely obsessed with hobnobs. I love hobnobs and my favourite biscuit ever. I found the hobnobs chop chip in Home Bargains and I was so excited about them. I find like biscuits are so expensive in supermarkets. I, I hardly go to supermarkets anymore unless I need to get like the bare essentials. If I want any treats or chocolates, anything like that, go to Home Bargains because they are so cheap. I also bought some Toblerone as a little treat. I did buy some cream mini eggs, but I sort of ate them last night. I mean, I can show you the packet, but yeah. <laughs> so bringing this haul to an end, my final purchase was this. So I'm finding lately, um, especially working from home more, that I'm not drinking enough. I am literally just not drinking. So what I'm doing at the moment is like putting uh, squash and water in a glass. And I'm just not drinking it. I'm too lazy to go and fill up my glass. So I find just that just having like a water bottle prevents me from doing that. It's just so much easier. You can literally fill the bottle up and then you don't have to worry about it until like midday and then you just fill it up one more time. Like I have this at the moment and when I get to the bottom, I just don't bother filling it up. And then I realize it's actually six o'clock in the night and I haven't drunk hardly anything. I don't think people realize how much um, drinking can actually help with weight loss. So if you don't know already, a couple of years ago, I did a, big, a bikini competition. 
and you'll see pictures of that on my Instagram if you follow me on there. And drinking water was like the saviour. And I feel like that is the main thing that helped me lose weight. If I was ever hungry or I was thinking about food, I just drank water and water literally filled me up so much. I didn't realise how important drinking water was um, until I had that experience. And when I don't drink water now, I can see a change in like the way I concentrate, how hungry I am, how moody I am, um, everything. So yeah, invest in a water bottle. I mean, this was what, like two pound, I think. It doesn't have to be expensive, anything just to get you started. I would highly recommend and it's quite cute i did like this it was in a variety of colors and slogans on the on the front but i just thought mm, i like gold it's a bit of me that is bit of me so that brings the haul to an end i hope you enjoyed my first haul let me know what you thought of it subscribe to this channel follow me on instagram and i hope to see you in the next video bye